What is going on guys, it's Argon here, and today I'm going to bring you a new Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle against a fellow YouTuber, the Latin Espeon. So, um, yeah, taking a look at his team, he has a lot of threatening Pokemon like Pinsir, Mega Pinsir, and Greninja, and stuff like that, and I'm using a Sun Team. So, uh, I'm going to try out the Sun Team, I want to see how it uh, works out though, so, yeah. Um, alright, so he's gonna start off with Ferrothorn over here, and I believe I'm gonna start off with my, uh, no, he's gonna start off with Clefable, never mind. He's gonna start off with Clefable, I'm gonna start off with my Nine Tails just to get the drought up. So, yeah, Clefable is gonna be the most annoying Pokemon, and you'll see. Um, I'm gonna switch out though because I really can't do anything to it and it's gonna set up Calm Mind, so I'm gonna go to my Darmian and um, I'm just gonna end up going for the Moon Blast, so, um, yeah, I thought it would go for Calm Mind, but not a big deal, um, but I'm just gonna go straight for the Flare Blast over here. I know he's gonna go to his Ferrothorn, but who cares, really, I just wanna go for the Flare Blast to see how much it would do in the sun. I know it's gonna eat so long. But he kind of made a good play for sacrificing the spare throwing because as you can see, I get iron barbs, rocky helmet, as well as the recoil from the uh, blitz. So I'm actually all the way down to red health right off the bat. So uh, he's now gonna go to his hit, so he can easily go for the quick attack. So I'm gonna switch out. And I'm gonna save it for later though because I wanna see what move it's gonna go for. Um, I'm gonna go to my Dawn Fan here in case he goes for the quick attack. So um, I'm very defensive so I know that I can take um, pretty much any hit though. Uh, but the thing is he's probably gonna mega evolve over here. But he decides to switch out and he's gonna go to his Fable so that kinda sucks over here. Um, but I'm gonna go for the Stealth Rocks. And I know that he doesn't have a rapid spinner on his team, so um, which is good because then um, I can kind of force him to switch and take stealth rock damage. So, um, so I'm gonna switch out. I could have went for the knockoff there, but I decided instead just to go for um, the switch to victory about. But he's gonna go for the flamethrower. He's gonna use the sun to his advantage and take him out. So that was a critical hit. I don't think that would have mattered. Um, but I wouldn't be able to. I would have been able to go for the uh, sleep powder. I'm gonna go to my Blastoise over here and Mega Evolve. So um, I'm gonna go for the Water Pulse, even though I know that um, uh, that he's probably gonna set up a couple calm mines. I'm trying to get the confusion though. So I'm gonna go for the water pulse and it does a nice chunk even though um, in the sun it's reduced but uh, it's gonna start setting up calm lines but um, the thing is I don't want to switch to my John Man tank because at some point he could easily go for the moon blast or flamethrower or whatever. Um, but I'm gonna switch out over here and I'm gonna go to my Dawn fan to um, Get rid of the uh, entry hazards. Well, not entry hazards, the um, leftovers. But he's gonna go for the soft world over here. So, um, I'm gonna go for the knockoff over here because I want to get rid of the leftovers. And that'll be very important to, um, you know. Because the leftovers, it could make a difference between uh, surviving a hit and getting taken out. So, um, I'm just gonna go for the flamethrower and it goes around half, but I'm able to get rid of his leftovers, which is cool. So, I'm just gonna go for the moon blast, take me out, no big deal. Um, but I'm gonna go to my blast voice over here. No, I'm gonna go to my Darmanitan. Um, uh, over here, I'm going to over predict and go for the Yukon. And, um, yeah. Um, I will predict over here, and he's gonna be able to get another uh, hit off. Uh, he's probably gonna go for another Calm Mind, I'm assuming. So he's gonna go for the Soft Boiled. But, 
Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go for the um, water pulse here. Um, just trying to get to confusion. So, water pulse actually does a nice uh, chunk to the uh, Fable even after plus one, but. Um, I'm just going to continue going for the waterfalls over here because I know that at some point I will get a critical hit. Um, I'm going to try to get the um, confusion over here. Or if I get a crit, that's fine. So, um, he's going to get back up to green health. So, uh, I'm going to continue going for the waterfalls because I'm going to get that confusion. And I do get a critical hit, so that's awesome. So now, um, I'll be able to take out this Clefable with no problem at all. So, um, I just want to play it safe. I just want to go for the Water Pulse. I don't want to overpredict. So I'm just going to go for that Water Pulse, that, uh, safe Water Pulse. And I'll be able to easily take out the Clefables. Now, one of the most annoying Pokemon is out of the way. The Ninja's going to come in here. And stop lockdown which is gonna take place and at least if he's focused out it's broken. So he's gonna go for the dark pulse try and get the flinch and it actually does exactly 50%. Like 50% on the nose and I'm able to go for the aura sphere and take him out. So that's cool. Um yeah, so he's gonna go to his uh guard jump over here. And um I'm thinking he's probably going to go for a Dragon Claw or an Outrage. He ends up going for the Outrage over there. So, um, he is going to take me out from that range. So, um, I'm going to go to my 9 tails with the um, Sun again. And I have, um, Venusaur with Chlorophyll, so I'll be able to set up all over him. So, he's going to go for another Outrage. So, I actually survived with 69 HP, so I didn't think I would actually survive that, but then again, I am invested in some HP. And then, I am going to go for the Solar Beam over here. And Solar Beam is not going to do too much. I want to go for the Flame Dart, even though it's not very effective, I want to see how much it would do. So, he does hit himself, luckily, so um, I'm going to go for the Flame Thrower. It actually does a nice chunk though to cut chunk. So he's gonna hit himself again and I'm gonna be able to take him out with another um bar, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, so he is gonna be able to go to his pencil though and finish him off with his attack. So if that chunk goes down, um uh, Alright, so Pincer's gonna come out. And he's probably going to Mega Evolve over here. So, I'm um, kind of a little concerned he's going to sweep my entire team. Um, but I'm just going to stay in and go for the Flank Row over here in case he wants to go for a Sword Stance. Um, yeah, but he goes straight for the Quick Attack. No big deal. Um, I'm going to um, go into my Moon Sword. And I actually have the Hidden Power Potter, so he's gonna go for the quick attack over here. I do live that, and I'm gonna go for the Hidden Power Potter. And it's boosted in the sun, so I'll be able to take him out from that range. So Pinsir is pretty much um, gone. So his last Pokemon is Gengar, and. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be able to outspeed um, uh, with my draw mana hand, but I'm gonna go for the hidden power. And it does a lot to Gengar. So, uh, he's gonna go for the Z move. I'm not sure if I'm gonna the Z move. It's pretty much useless because he could just poke me out with any uh, hit he goes for. But um, he's gonna go for the all out pummeling. So. Um, he is gonna, um, actually take me out there, um, and, uh, yeah. um, but my last Pokemon is, um, Darmanitan, so, 
Yeah, Darmanitan is gonna come out here, but because I'm not towards Scar, I'm towards Bandit actually, so um, he is gonna outspeed me and take me up with a shadow. So yeah, that was a good battle, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, this is my second battle with the capture card, and I really enjoy it though. Um, it's really good quality to be honest, I mean. Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed it, just make sure to leave a comment below, click the like button, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys later.